gentlemen. Mrs. Smith, you appear to be angry. She's a little chagrined at having been proven wrong. That there's been a, an, an argument to Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Mr. Fire Chief. Please do not involve uh, diversion our family arguments. Oh, this is not so serious, my dear. <laughs> Mr. Fire Chief is an old friend of the family. His mother courted me, and his father asked for my daughter in marriage, if ever I had one. He died waiting. Well, what was it all about? Well, my husband was claiming. No, you were claiming. Well, he said that when the doorbell rings, it is because there's always someone there. It is plausible, but I say that when the doorbell rings, that there is never anyone there. It, it might seem strange, but it has been proved that but not by theoretical demonstrations, but by facts. No. That's false. The fire chief was there. He rang, I opened the door, and there he was. I was right. That was only the fourth time the bell rang. I was only speaking of the first three times. Hmm. Permit me to ask you some questions. Go right ahead. Now, when I opened the door, it was you who hit the rung, was it not? Yes, it was I. And it was because you had rung in order to be admitted, no. I do not deny it. Hmm. So it was you who rang the fourth time? Yes, it was I. You see, I was right. Whenever there's someone who has rung the door, there must be somebody there ringing the door. I was only speaking of the fourth, the first three times. The fourth time does not count. Never. It's only the first three times that count. And and when the doorbell rang the first time, was it you? No, it was not I. Then the doorbell rang and there was no one there. But the second time, it was not you? No, it was not I. And did you hear the doorbell when it rang the second time? Yes, and that was not I either. There was still no one there. How long were you at the door? Three quarters of an hour. And the third time, it wasn't you either? Yes, it was I. You see? Wait, what were you doing at the door? Nothing. I was just standing there and thinking of many things. And You saw no one. No one. I am sure of that. Victory! I was right. That's not so fast. What were you doing at the door? Okay. Nothing. I was just standing there. And you saw no one, no one at all. No one, I am sure of that. Then why were you standing at the door? I was thinking of many things. So the third time, was it you who rang? Yes, it was I. You see, I was right. When the doorbell rings, there is always someone there. But when I looked, there was no one there. That was because I had hidden myself as a joke. Don't make jokes, Mr. Fire Chief. This business is too sad. But you see, whenever someone is wrong, there must be someone there. Whenever anyone, always someone. 
I'm going to reconcile you. You are both partly right. When the doorbell rings, sometimes there is someone there, other times there is no one. This seems logical. I think so too. Life is really simple, Barry. Really. Since you have helped to settle this, why don't you take off your helmet and sit down for a moment? Excuse me, but I can't stay long. I should like to remove my helmet, but I haven't time to sit down. Now I must admit, I have come to see you for another reason. I am on official business. What can we do for you, Mr. Fire Chief? I beg you to excuse my indiscretion. You don't mind in front of... <laughs> Say whatever you like. We're old friends. They tell us everything. Speak. Well, is there a fire here? Why do you say that? Well, pardon me, but I have orders to extinguish all the fires in 